And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be getting underway on Gold Rush, which is Team Chili's map pick for Game 2 against Team UK. 9th to 17th place playoff final. And in about one second, we are going to be fight. I see any funny business coming out. MER, the rifle grenade, went out by Team Chili. Doesn't look like it's going to be doing a whole lot of connections. Garen, landmine place, pushing aggressively. Going to be getting some damages off. But the self kills are going to be coming in for Team UK. Max with the grand kill. Nothing... Nothing too crazy going on at the moment. Medixa with a, an MP40 kill. And it looks like Chili are having a little bit of a struggle trying to get the CP. They're wandering around. They don't, they don't know what to do. Max couldn't come up against Garen. Garen's going to fall with the help of Lux. And the UK are going to be tapping that self-kill button. Let's see if Max can get any spawn kill rifles off. He fires it. Is he going to get one? He is going to get Stokes, but is Stokes going to be full? No, he's not. He's revived. And Team Chile, they're waiting. They're waiting. The tactic from Team UK, touch the CP and then get the hell out of dodge. And Stokes going to be aggressing onto side. Nice double MP40 kill. Picks up a Thompson as a little bit of a surprise. But finally, Team Chile have managed to get the... Okay. Nos caught by surprise. Caught by surprise. Rifle trick shot. I'm getting ATI flashbacks. Unsuccessful. And Team Chili opting to stay around the backside. You've got the CP. You need to attack the tank now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. MG pushing up the back. Noz, needle out, gets the revive on TMG. Stokes coming in with an MP40 kill. And they're aggressing. Garen, rifle grenade, gonna be connecting onto MG. He's gonna be throwing a grenade, self killing. But they know people are still back. They know people are there. Max opens up with a rifle grenade. MER and MG still at the back. I'm going to be pushing a little bit. A little bit aggressive. Nice rifle grenade coming out from Garen. He's going to be getting the gib onto Noz. And that's a huge blow for Team Chili. You lose one member at back. MG falls. MER grenade in hand. Unable to get the revive. But he does get the kill. And Team UK have just fallen all over the tank. i just seen the kills come in from Team Chili. Lux, MER, hands... Coming in with kills and there was no engineers around. MG's going to be jumping onto the tank. Team UK need to stop this guy from building and they're not. He repairs a tank. And Team UK sh shaken to the core by the sheer aggression from Team Chili. They get killed all over the place. And on the respawns, they fail to stop the engineer SMG from Team Chili building this tank. And that's a huge blow for Team UK. And... With 12 minutes about to hit the clock, Team UK have got their work cut out for them. Team Chile picking Gold Rush. And you can kind of see why. It was a comfortable win for them yesterday. It looks like it might be comfortable now. Gabster is going to be caught off guard by the Max. The the Rifle carry. grenade. It was a expecting that to happen he was expecting Dabster to take the long range flank and Dabster wasn't expecting him to be there but Team UK just wiped out again Max two man rifle grenade off the spawn that's going to be doing a lot of damage Dabster and Nismo down Dabster does get picked up and Nismo does get picked up so it's not full spawns but it is enough to get the tank built and repaired and moved just slightly Team UK doing well to spam the tank again destroying it quite quickly Crumbs clearing out lower CP, trying to clear out the tank, but he's just getting railed from behind from Team Chili. And the tank still being moved by Team Chili. Medix is trying his best to repel them, but it's not going to be enough. And Team Chili, within five minutes, have got the tank into its final resting place. And UK have to pretty much fall back to this last bank stage defense a little bit quicker than you would have expected a little bit quicker than you would have liked and it's an unlucky support fire team kill from dabster but team chili converging all over that cp area they would have they would have the forward spawn and team chili just w key in it across the courtyard mg already at the third arch and max is going to be there as well nice little headshot Crumbs got his work cut out for him. Max does end up falling to Stokes MP40. 
Noz walking into bank, gonna take the fight to Crumbs. Crumbs loses that fight. Lux manages to grab the gold. Where is he gonna be going with this gold? And Team UK decide to self kill. We get the lay of the land. Team UK not doing anything exotic. They're just gonna be posting up pretty much because Lux is hasn't made his way out. Stokes with an MP40 kill. Garen with the with the landmine kill and. Well, Team Chile decided to go up probably at the worst time imaginable. But there we go. They do get the kill. They do reclaim the gold. And they're going to be going once again. Tank's not been damaged. Tank's not been damaged. Tank has been damaged. Finally. Team UK repelling the attack from Team Chile. That was a close call. They did lose the gold for a moment, but they did get it back. Noz Thompson kill is going to open up this spawn. Max coming in with one of his own. Fantastic game from hand. It's going to be annihilating Dixer first. Four Team Chile kills coming in quick succession. Gary and Stokes replying for Team UK. Gary caught off guard by the reload, by the aggression of hands. Hands is going to be making his way into the bank. Grab the gold. And can Team Chile get this out a little bit quicker than they did last time? One bullet. Switches to the Colt, and he's going to be getting a call from Team Chile to just come running out the bank. Run, Hands, run as fast as you can. There is someone from Team UK trying to stop the goal. Dabster, he does kill Hands, but he can't touch the gold. And Lux gets the revenge kill, gets the revive, gets the gold, and he gets it into the back of the truck. And Team UK are falling at the seams, and they need to do something. They need to do something to get this defense looking a little bit more worthy of a final for 9th to 17th place but Team Chile are not letting them the aggression from Team Chile just catching UK off guard Medixa with the Luger kill it's not going to be enough and with 8 minutes left on the clock it's going to be a very quick time hands with the 3 man panzer at the second arch is going to be annihilating Team UK of any hopes of getting anywhere near this truck and that's going to be more than enough for Team Chile, and they've done some fantastic work there. They lost the gold, they, they grabbed it. Took a while to get out the bank, they lost it at third arch. But then in no time whatsoever, they grab it again. Hands jumping into the bank, catching Garen off guard. Grabbing the gold, and then pretty much just running, making his way straight through the courtyard. Dabster makes him fall just under the bridge. Just under the bridge, but he was a centimeter from reclaiming this objective. Lux gets the kill onto Dabster, grabs the objective, takes it and puts it into the truck. And that was a quick round. 7 minutes, 27 seconds. We're going to be having a look. Medix a top frag for Team UK. 18 frags. Lux is 17. 2.6 from Medix. So Medix was popping off for Team UK that round. Hands with 2.8. Would have got a lot of that damage from that three-man panzer at second. 2.3 for Lux, 2.1 for Max. And what can you say? The damages, the frags are not going to be looking a whole lot exotic considering how quick that round was. 7 minutes, 27 seconds. And that was quick. That was very, very quick. UK taken bit by surprise and it was a similar it was a similar situation yesterday I feel on supply and even on gold rush team Chile was just jumping onto the tank every single spawn W key jump W key jump and team UK just struggle struggle to deal with it there's, there's not enough spam there's not enough aim on the people jumping in and that's what you get you get a quick time like this You hate to see it if you're a Team UK or if you're a Team UK fan, but you love to see it if you're a Team Chile fan or if you're Team Chile. And team Chile on the verge of taking Gold Rush unless Team UK can pull out something spectacular. And hands 
Gets to three man panzer and he lags out. Computer couldn't handle it. Medic. Well, what can I say? What can I say? Looks like Hope dwindling away for Team UK yes. on Gold Rush. Seven minutes twenty-seven seconds is not quick. It is a. Uh, what do I want to say here? Seven minutes twenty-seven seconds. It's not a lot of time. It's not a lot of time to get the tank. To get the CP, to get the tank escorted all the way to the final resting place on bridge, to destroy the bank doors, to grab the gold, to put it in the back of the truck, and to escort the truck all the way. It's not a lot of time. 7 minutes 27 seconds. Not a lot of time. You had to reconnect, you timed out, it messed up my binds. Okay, people need to stop messing with my binds, bro. <laughs> yeah, imagine. <clears throat> imagine, this is a tactical tactical 999 from Team Chili because they want to do some, do some tactics. Whoops. But all the Team UK are ready for the second round. Why not using outload? Um, good question. He was he was playing for Team Chili yesterday. He's not today. MG has replaced him, and he's on the engineer SMG. And yesterday, MER was the engineer SMG, and on supply, he was doing big things with those landmines, with those grenades, with that MP40. So I'm wondering, is MG the better end SMG or is MER? Would this affect the outcome anyway? Are Team Chili stronger with MER as the engineer SMG on defense? Or are they stronger with MG? I don't know. I don't know. We're away in once more. It's like, um... It reminds me of when you go to like a theme park, right? And the queue is just really big. You wait about 40 minutes for a ride sometimes. Is he timed out again? Oh, yes. has. What's going on there? Oh, brothers, please. Where is he? Where is he? Eyes, eyes, eyes. There we go. Okay. So as I was saying, this resembles of you wait 40 minutes for a ride or something like that, if it's a popular ride, you get to the front of the queue, you sit down, and the ride lasts about 30 <laughs> seconds. So you've waited 40 minutes for 30 seconds of pleasure. It's the same here, we're waiting for ages. We're waiting for about 40 minutes and we get a seven minute time. There we go, there we go, okay. We'll see, we'll see, I don't know. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see. The ready ups are coming in. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna get started very soon. So Team UK have seven minutes, 27 seconds to beat. On attack. And if it's anything like yesterday, it's not gonna happen because Team Chile were defending confidently. They were defending well. But let's see if Team UK have any surprises up their sleeve. Are they gonna go for CP firstborn? Are they gonna invest? Because Team Chile invested a hell of a lot of time. And they still set a very quick time. But we're going to be getting started. And we're going to have a look. No cover Ops coming out from UK. To hell with the CP, they say. 
We're going to see. Noz is going to be getting that CP. Rifle grenade coming out. It's going to be missing everyone. Crumbs, engineer. They're jumping onto the tank. Nismo. It's not the engineer. He's the medic. And Stokes on the side. But Medixa does get one kill. Stokes comes in. Gets one. He's going to be fighting Max. Swinging his aim all over the place. He's not going to be connecting with many bullets. And Garen is in the corner. He's going to be jumping onto tank with the pliers. He's getting the charge. Rifle grenade coming out from Max. It's going to be more than enough. Crumbs is going to be jumping in with his pliers. And he's going to be getting annihilated. Straight away, and the landmine is going to be getting the gib. That is so unlucky for Team UK. Can you imagine if they got the tank? They, the tank must be so close to being built. Can you imagine if they got it? MER comes in with a double grenade kill. Dabster is just walking straight in. Trips the landmines. Grenade. The spam's coming in. MG with the landmine kill. MG with the grenade kill. It's going to be repelling Team UK, and it didn't touch the tank. And time's going to be ticking before that tank charge resets. And you feel that that might have been the moment that they had to do it. That might have been the moment. That might have been the moment. But Team Chile, all credit to them. They managed to pull off the defense. And the dicks are Garen on the side. Team Chile will be self killing. Garen firing off the spawn rifle, connects onto Max. And Dabster coming in with two kills. The artillery, uh, the support fire kill, and the Thompson is going to be getting two team chili out. Hands returns the favor. Stokes returns the favor onto him. I'm trying to find someone who doesn't die. Stokes is aggressing into the spawn. Luger, Colt in hand even. But the Luger of MER is going to be finishing him off. Garen jumps onto the tank. The revive comes in from Dabster. Surely, Garen, you have to get in now. He has no charge. He just about gets it. He just about gets it. But if that wasn't enough, Crumbs was also there. It's five minutes, 23 seconds left. And we got a game on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Team Chile have spawned that tank. And somehow they've gotten away with it. And they're going to be all over this barrier. I'll tell you, someone else is going to be all over it. Team UK, Dabster with two Thompson kills. Stokes with a Thompson kill. Dixon with a Thompson kill. Dabster makes it three with a Thompson. But Lux and MER are applying for Team Chile. And even Nismo is coming in with a couple of kills. So Team UK... Picking up the kills when they need to. Picking it up well. Nismo a little bit short-handed on that revive. And the tank barrier has been built. And that was a big construction for Team Chile. Because with 4 minutes 38 seconds left. Every second matters. And that tank barrier is going to cost Team UK at least 30 seconds minimum. Max coming in with a couple of K4-3 kills. He's trying to expand on his little spree there. Not going to be doing a whole lot. More after that. Nismo missing the revive. You've got to get the revive on crumbs. That's unfortunate. He doesn't get the revive. Max coming in with a rifle grenade. Garen with a two-man rifle. Uh, every time I'm spectating someone, they get killed. <laughs> every time I do it, they're getting killed. This is so unlucky. Oh my god, please. I'm cursing everyone in this game. Lux with the MG42. And Madixa coming in with two kills of his own. Crumbs taking down MER. It's a bit, a bit aggressive. Dynamite. Unfortunate, that's my fault. I was spectating you. I am sorry. Garen must be the longest surviving member from my point of view so far. He does get the rifle grenade. He's going to be timing the grenade. He's going to be coming up against Nos. And Nos does take him down. CP is destroyed and Team UK are running forward with a lot of momentum. And just jump onto the tank. Get it moving, guys. Get it moving. This is so close. Three minutes, 19 seconds left. And Team UK are putting on a defense. More uh, an attack, an offense, I should say. More impressive than Team Chili's. And Team Chili are put under a hell of a lot of pressure. Garin, dynamite down into the truck barrier under the bridge. Hans comes in with the MP40 kill onto Stokes. MER with the MP40 kill onto Medixa. And Team Chili looking very unstable right now. And I was specking hands, and this is unlucky because he has timed out. He has timed out with... That looks like Garen's big head. Let's see. Oh, no, it's Crumbs. Oh, no, Garen's here. Sorry, Crumbs. I, I, I apologize. Look at the size of that. But Garen doesn't know. There's a man just here, and he's timed out. So hands... It's going to be taking a full spawn unless this ping fixes itself. But considering he's timed out, chances are he's going to have to reconnect. 
And that's going to be one person on full spawn for Team Chile. And that's just not what you want to see. It's not what you want to see. But Team UK coming in with a hell of a lot of momentum. Hell of a lot of pressure. Team Chile even managed to get the tank barrier. They managed to get the truck barrier. But Team UK, unfazed, get the plant down pretty much straight away. Get the tank escorted. Get the tank all the way through to the top of the top of the bridge. Final resting place. And even Garen throws a dynamite onto the truck, bar truck barrier underneath the bridge. And there we go. There we go. The Team Chile. Under some immense pressure. All right. There's two hands in the game. Go. No, okay. Uh, I got a... Okay, so I should have hands. But that's the full spawn for the guy. And it's not just anyone, it's probably one of the... Probably one of the... What's the word I'm looking for? Stronger performers in Team Chile so far. This match, and even yesterday, hands was... Probably Team Chile's standout member in terms of damage. But we'll see, we'll see. Prepare to fight. Team Chile oh, yes. is a country, not a spicy vegetable. Dude, I don't give a shit. That's how I'm gonna say it. I'm the shoutcaster, you're the viewer, bro. Relax. That's how it's gonna be. And I say MER because I asked, is it is it M is it Mercy? Is it Merce? Is it Merc? No one answered me, so it's MER, bro. So it is. Team Chile. Team Chile. Is that how you want me to say it? MG, landmine kill, Noz. And MER coming with kills. And see if this pause has disrupted the momentum of Team UK. Taps with the Panzer. And Team Chile. Team Chile. Set back a little bit, but they are defending quite well. Hands picking up a nice double kill. MG coming in with a 9mm Luger kill as well. And Team UK go again. Two minutes to get out of here, soldier. Jokes, Thompson kill. And Team UK are just converging onto this bank. Crumbs with a Thompson kill. Crumbs with another Thompson kill. And he's going to try and make it three. Nismo steals that away from him. Or should I say helps him. Garen with the grand. Lux replying for Team Chile. And he replies with a secondary one as well. Objective has been taken. Medixa is the man that's holding it. Garen advancing onto the back of the bank. Medixa finds himself at third arch. But he's... Pinned between a rock and a hard place. He needs some backup. He's at the back of bank. And they're looking for him. They're looking for this man. Hands comes up against him. He gets taken down. Medixa, Colt. It's not going to be doing a whole lot. But he's going to be able to run away. And he's run. He's running with the objective. He's running. Where are Team Chili? They're nowhere in sight. Because Nismo's picking up kill. Dav's just picking up kill. Hands is trying to reply for Team Chili. And Medixa has managed to get the gold into the back of the truck. And with one minute left. There's still a chance for Team UK to do it, but they need to keep this escorting all the way. They need to keep it going. And Team Chile have respawned. The artillery could be detrimental. Dabster coming in with a Thompson kill. Garen with the rifle grenade. Lux's artillery is going to be missing Medixa. And with 43 seconds left, this is it. This is Team UK to take the map from Team Chile. Artillery delayed. Nos with a three-man team kill artillery. And with that team kill artillery goes all of the hope that Team Chile had of trying to win this map from Team UK. Medixa is going to be driving it like a truck driver should without failing, without it stopping. And that's what they needed to do because this is going to be a very, very close time. But it's going to be doable nonetheless. And the truck is going to be escorted. 
with seven seconds left. So can you imagine if Team Chile stopped it? Can you imagine if Team Chile stopped it for one, one moment? If they got everyone off of that truck for one moment, that could have been enough, but they didn't. Medixa, all credit to him, grabs the gold, takes it all the way to the truck, and then he escorts the truck all the way without it stopping at all. And that's going to be taking it. Insane stuff. Big escorting from Team UK. 4.6k for Stokes. 4.5 for Medixa. And we're going to ignore Hans' stats because this guy reconnected about 10 times. But Team Chile, pretty much even in the damages department. Or should I say Team Chile? Team Chile? Jesus. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? The Nos three man artillery team kill is the nail in the coffin for Team Chile. But then if you are Nos, you have to put the artillery down anyway. You have to do it, because if you didn't put the artillery, you're, you're not gonna have any hope, pretty much. Oh, actually you might have, but then everyone, everyone would put the artillery down. Everyone would put it down. I would put it down. Because you can't, you can't predict that three of your teammates are gonna be getting so close to truck all of a sudden. Wow. But we are going to be going on to Radar. Radar is Team UK's map pick. Actually. I don't want to shit, shit all over the guy. But let's have a look. Noz. 538 team damage. Oh. The pain. Let's see, let's see. Team UK managing to pull Gold Rush out their back pocket. And all credit to everyone in Team UK, but especially Medixa, who made it happen, grabbed the gold into the truck and it escorts the truck without it stopping. But let's see if there are any upsets on the card for Radar. Team UK's map pick. They're going to be attacking first. Team Chile. To defend first. <laughs> the World Cup's coming home. Big 19th, 9th place. Now we, now we wait. Now we wait once more. Well, I gotta say, even though we waited 40 minutes for that to happen, it, it, it was kind of worth it. It was kind of worth it. Artie was good, just unfortunate. That's pretty much spot on, I guess. If Artie was 0.5 seconds earlier, it got the only guy driving it. I would guess so, yeah? Yeah. The Artie before as well, because they had an artillery near... The spawn stairs, right? And that artillery killed someone, but it Medixa was on the opposite side of the truck, so it didn't hit him. The artillery shell landed next to the trees in, in the middle of the courtyard. Which is just RNG at that point, right? If it landed on the other side of the truck, it would have got Medixa and then team team Chile would have won would have won that map. But there we go. That's ET for you. Little things like that can happen. Rifle grenades bouncing in certain angles can sometimes connect. Sometimes not, and that could be the difference between winning or losing a round, losing a map. And that artillery was just one of those factors. He 
is we? Why is everyone spamming is we? Is we? Is we? Is we? Is we? Is we what? Wait, where's Max? Wait, Outload's in. Max has been replaced by Outload. Okay, what's going on here? Why am I changing my binds all the time, brothers? And now MG's taking the rifle. All right, we've got some football type substitutions going on here. Max has been benched. Can you believe it? Drama in the Chilean camp. But we're going to be getting on to the second map. It is Radar. It is Team Chile to defend. It is Team Fight. UK to attack. It is Team UK's map and we're going to be getting underway. No funny business. No rifle shot. No Panzer for Team UK. They're going to be trucking their way to the main gate. With little to no resistance from Team Chile. Hands offering a little bit of resistance. But he's going to get annihilated by the rifle grenade. Nismo is going to be... Taking down MER. And he's just going to be jumping straight onto the flag. Team Chile have no idea. Nas turns around. Surprised. Outlaw turns around. Surprised. And this is just mayhem all over the place. Team Chile taken by surprise. Nismo again. Thompson kill onto MER. Grand kill from Garin. It's going to be securing that flag. And what is going on right now? Garin's going to be aggressing. Gets Lux. And MG... Trying his best, nearly touching the flag. And that would have been interesting because Team UK were about to spawn. Dabster grabs a uniform. And we're going to see if they're going to look to go forward. It looks like Team Chile are getting a bit, a bit fancy, trying to maybe take, take back the main control. But the artillery goes down a little bit too dynamite. late. The dynamite is going to get planted. The dynamite is going to get planted on the side. And we'll see how this is working out for Team Chile. Outload has come in and replaced Max. And Max is a good rifler. So maybe he's really bad with the SMG, I don't know. But he's one of the standout performers of Team Chile as well. So we're going to see Dynamite set to blow. Let's see if Garant can do some major damages with this rifle grenade. Spam's going to be coming out for Team Chile. You know they're behind the MG. Okay, let's... Uh, so, let's look somewhere else. One second. It's all right. The second one is going to be doing a lot of damage, but the med packs are there. Garen coming in with the grand kill. Outload coming in with two MP40 kills, but it's not enough. Crumbs, two Thompson kills. Dabster with the Sten. Dabster with the Satchel. Thrown onto the CP. Nice grenade from MER. It's going to be taking down the engineer, but not taking them down and giving them. And that's the key. And that's the key. That let's UK build that CP. And Nismo. It's going to be saying, you know what, let me go for East Parts and Team UK. Two birds, one stone, they get the CP, they get the East Parts, Nismo taking a lot of damage. So this should be surely fine, or maybe not. Outlook's raining down bullets and we're having a little bit of a, a revive train going on. And with every kill, Team Chile were getting close and the objective carrier pretty much died like five times there. But they've got it, they've got it. Team UK have the East parts. Crumbs is going to be escorting that. He's got it on his back. He's going to be running to the truck. And Team UK are just going to be making double, triple sure that no one from Team Chile is going to be playing some funny business. And they're not. They're all setting up. They're putting all their eggs into this West Park basket. And they're going to see... If they can extend their defense, extend the time because it's a very quick time so far from Team UK. Outload coming in with a kill. Hands and Lux picking up kills for Team Chile. Looks like Outload's going to be defending the back spawn. Replenishes his ammo. Going to come up against Crumbs. He's going to get annihilated by Crumbs. And Crumbs is going to be healing himself. And no 
one from Team Chile going to be really contesting him. But you've got three, well, three members of Team UK on fake. And artillery has come down onto the west part. Team Chile have to be careful. And they have to be careful. I just said it. And they weren't. Davster comes in with two. MER and MG fall to the artillery. But one of them does get picked back up. Medix has found his way into the trench. He's going to come up against hands. Team Chile do self-kill. The respawns are going to be coming in. And Medix doesn't long for this world too much longer. Team UK somehow managed to get to the west part. Dabster grabs it. Surely you're not going to get anywhere as a field ops. That was a Kobe grenade. And a little bit cause for concern for Team Chile. Team UK got a bit close there. Team UK got a bit close. And Garrish is running straight from fake over the bridge. Comes up against MG. And he gets Lugard in the back of the head by hands. And that was a, a shot that needed to be hit. Nod's coming in with two MP40 kills. Him and Outload going to be holding this back spawn. Outload coming up against Stokes. Is going to fail that one. Stokes comes in with two Thompson kills. And we're going to see if he can make it three. He nearly does. MG. Just about winning that battle. MER. It's going to be providing support. Nismo is going to be blocking Stokes. And they're both going to pay the ultimate price. MG coming up with a couple of kills still. Does get the landmine kill. So Team UK member was quite close. I think. The landmine is gone from the west. Some people like to call it the goldfish mine. So I'm going to call it the goldfish mine. So team... Team Chile are defending West admirably so far. Uh oh, no pressure. Oh, that's a, that's a new way. I've, I've never seen it done that way. People usually, people usually. Um, I mean, I've never had to really do this mine, so I don't know. But people usually like go here. They prone. They they get the coordinates out. You know, they get their map out. They look in which direction. They like look up here, like they're doing a rifle trick shot. They throw it, and then it lands perfectly in this position. But MG is like, hold up, just bang, straight in. Take notes, all right? Engineer SMGs, take notes. This is a stream, you can clip it. I will have this VOD up after the game. You can watch it, you can learn. You can learn how to engineer SMG, throw those mines down with efficiency. And defend West with efficiency, as Team Chile are doing. They've lost the flag pretty quickly. They lost... Oh, Hans is 9 9 again. They lost CP. They lost East. All in quick succession. And are you kidding me? Hans is 9 9 on a full spawn again. He timed out on 28 seconds on Gold Rush as well. And now it's 29, 28 seconds. He's going to be on a full spawn once again. And what's even worse than that is I'm going to have to bind it once again. Oh, man. It's just never ending. Kick the fake. All right, we got his name. Okay. So people, hands on a full spawn once more for Team Chile. They managed to, I mean, it didn't affect them too much on Gold Rush. They still held it. On the respawn. So Hans did respawn. So it didn't affect him too much. But he's on a full spawn once again. On a full spawn once again. And let's see if that's going to be a problem from Team Chile. For Team Chile, I'd say. Prepare to fight. And we're going to be getting underway. Unfortunate 999 from Hans. Team Chile on the back foot a little bit more than they would be. And Team UK. I wonder if they're aware that one man is on a full spawn. Noz is going to be raining down bullets. Outload and Noz decided to spawn at the hut. Because Team UK's presence at that back spawn was a bit too big. And Dabster does fall. Medixa does return a kill. And so does Garen. But Noz is going to be aggressing and clear out Team UK from this bottom spawn. It looks like there's one person left. Nade going to be coming in. And West Pars has been taken by Stokes. He's going to be under the bridge. And surely Team Chile can't let this guy get away with it. They do take him down. Dabster does fall shortly after. And Stokes nearly under the nose of Team Chile took it. Garen going to be trying. Tripping all the mines. And even that goldfish mine. Tripped. 
Nearly, nearly from Team UK. That was a very, very nearly. And Medixa, Crumb and Stokes coming in with three Thompson kills, but Team Chile do respawn and are going to be surviving that airstrike just about. And Medix has found himself onto the west parts. This is the jump. Team Chile have seen him jump there. Outload. Reloads the Luger. Bad time to reload. And he's going to be boosting Medixa with the parts. Nismo has taken over. He falls. Stokes finally grabs it. And he falls. I'm trying to spectate these guys, but they're falling like... I was going to say falling like flies, but the, the, the saying is dropping like flies. Noz, med packs. Out. Finally reclaims the parts. And that was nearly disastrous from Team Chile. Once again, they boosted Medixa off the West Parts with that objective. And that's the thing. you got a Luger in your hand. You're not going to be doing a whole lot of damage. But what you are going to be doing is boosting that guy with the parts. So either you hit headshots or you're helping the enemy team. And hands 9 9 once again. Is we? Is we? Is we? Yep. My seven grey hairs have gone to 17 because Hans keeps reconnecting and timing out. And I've had to bind this guy's follow button about eight times now. And it's hot in my room. It's so hot. It's humid. I could feel it on my face. That doesn't sound too good. Hold on. Ignore I said that. It's hot in my room, okay? Put it that way. It's hot. Max has connected. Hands benched. No internet, no entry. And it was a long time coming, but Hans is one of the star members of Team Chile, and it's going to be a blow. It's going to be a blow, but Max has come in. Max has come in. So Hans. 999s for the 10th time, but for the last time, and Max has replaced him. There we go. We're back. Hopefully no more 999s, no more disruptions, and Team UK nearly getting the West Parts. 4 minutes, 27, 20 seconds left. And let's see if they can do much more and shake up the defense of Team Chile. Outload with the MP40 kill. Crumbs with the Thompson. And Medix I got quite close, but he opted to self-kill. I'm going to see Team UK aggressing back of West. Quite a few members. Nismo and Garen are their names. And Nismo forwards. Garen forwards shortly after. Noz, Outload. Yeah, more than enough. Objective has been taken by Stokes. And he gets dropped pretty much instantly. Hands is back in spectator. Don't do it. Don't do it. Max. On the verge of taking a full... Did he just self-kill on a full spawn? Okay. Max self-killed on a full spawn. Um, okay. Uh, that's unlucky. That's unlucky. Team Chile have got quite a lot of full spawns. I've, I've seen. But Team UK haven't been able to capitalize on them. Medixa. Getting one kill. Stokes getting another... And Dabster, Medixa, putting in work at main. Outload is going to be trying to aggress a little bit. The objective has been taken by Crumbs. He makes his way under the bridge, but he's going to get annihilated by Noz. And Team Chile are on a recovery mission right now. MG falls, takes down Medixa with him. Stokes is trying his best to reclaim, to salvage something from Team UK. And it's going to fail. Outload takes him down with the MP4. He takes the West Parts and puts it back. And Garen has found his way back onto the West Parts once again. And you're not going to be there for long because this gold fight, this goldfish mine needs to be put down. So you need to move. Garen takes the objective. Med pack in hand. Reinforcements are coming in in the form of Team UK. MER with the Panzer kills Garen. Max coming in with a kill. Parts are down. Team UK, you need to go. You need to stop Team Chile from trying to get these parts. Nismo with a triple kill with the Thompson. Stokes grabs the parts. He drops just in front of the truck. But it is reclaimed. It is salvaged. And Team UK get the parts into the back of the truck. And man, oh man. Man, oh man, that was some stuff that was happening there. Some stuff that was happening there, I'll tell you that. Insane. Insane.
Parts were taken, parts were dropped, parts were taken, parts were dropped. Times 10. But we're looking at damages. MG with 3.2k for Team Chile. Chile. For Team Chile. And UK, 2.8 for Medixa. 2.3 for Nismo, 2.2 for Crumbs. And man, these pauses are annoying. But god damn it, are they worth the wait? Because some stuff is happening. Some stuff is happening. Let's double check the time. 9 minutes 36 seconds is not a bad time to attack. Not a bad time. 9 minutes 36 seconds is not bad. On supply and gold rush, it would be a nearly on more on the side of a quick time. But on radar, it's I would say it's a little bit of a slow time for the attacking side. So Garen, Dabster, Medixa, and all the other UK members have their work cut out for them. I've seen a substitution come in. Hans is back in. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so we're, we know he's going to lag out, right? And then Max is going to have to step in again. So I'm not going to bind him. I'm not going to bind Hans because I know it's going to be Max stepping in sooner or later. I'm not doing it. Okay, I'll do it. You've convinced me. Yeah, I've done it. If you lag out again, bro. Oh, we're gonna have words. But we are second round. Team Chile to attack. To be. He's lagged out again. He's. Uh, uh, I just, I just said it. <laughs> I just said it. Oh no. Oh no. At this point, I would just get Max in. I mean, it's unfortunate, but at this point, it's just taking a bit too long. It's just, it's just taking a bit too long. I know Hans is, is like losing one of your best players, but at a certain point, it's just you're timing out every single minute. There's just no point. But we're going to get started. Crumbs filled up, Stoke filled up. Stokes throws the deep airstrike. Crumbs is going to put the artillery. Airstrike's not going to be connecting onto any of the Chileans because they've taken the side tunnel. And they're going main from the spawn. Making their way downtown. And outload. Going to be met with some grenades. So is MG. MG, nice grenade around the corner. It connects onto Dabster and they've made their way... Pretty much to the, to the truck, to the main gate. Dynamite goes down. And as the dynamite goes down, MER go, goes down as well by Dabster's landmine. Does get picked up. And dynamite has been planted for Team Chile. And that's impressive. To say the least, Team UK running out like chickens. And they're just going to get annihilated with the crossfire. Lux and Outlaw taking care. MER not opting to go for the uniform. Or is he? They probably were communicating with that. So, bro, this uniform right there. Just, just, just take it. It doesn't matter because main's blown. And Outload's just going to be running straight through. Team UK, are they expecting it? Scarring, Dabster, and Crumbs coming in with kills. But they don't know that Outload has made his way through the main gate because the main gate's blown. And he's going to be going on to West. Team UK, where are you? The South kills are going to be coming in for Team UK. They are going to see this man. Surely, they're going to see this man. Dabster is going to be looking to put this landmine down. He's going to see him. You can see his arm. No, you can't. He's taken by surprise. Outload is going to be taking the West Pass. Team Chile in huge reinforcements at the main. He's going to be jumping main. No one from Team UK taking him down. Crumbs manages to take him down. Triple kill coming in from Crumbs. Lux grabs the parts and he manages to secure it. Crumbs with the quadra kill is not going to be enough. And Team Chile, under the nose of Team UK, have taken the West Pass. And where was the backup? Crumbs was railing down bullets. Other people were railing down bullets, but it just seemed like Team UK were missing two or three members. And Team Chile have managed to get the West parts. And Team UK have their work cut out for them right now. Because East parts is the easier one to get. And god damn, have Chile put a spanner in the works of the UK defence.
And it looks like three members from Team Cherry just gonna be spawning main. MER coming in with the revive onto Nos. Medixa getting a kill. Dabster with the landmine. The side dynamite has gone down now, so this is why Team Chili are deciding to attack main because they can't do anything else. Dabster two kills coming in. Medixa two kills coming in. And now the landmine, ha the dynamite has gone down on side. They can make their way. They can make their way. Uh, making their way, they are indeed. And let's see if Team UK can put up an, an impressive defense. Going a little bit late to the CP party. Stokes opens up with the MG kill. MER coming in. He gets annihilated by the MG once more from Stokes. Stokes get annihilated by MG. I'm saying MG so many times. But there's a guy called MG in Team Chile as well. Outload with the Sten. And if there's a time for Garen to go huge, it is a time right now. Five minutes, 55 seconds left to defend west, to defend the east part, sorry. Nismo, MP40 kill. Only Luger to his name right now. Garen's gonna be pulling up the spam. Rifle grenade coming in. Grenade goes out. Nice headshot. It's gonna be making that Team Chili member retreat. Arms a rifle again. Nismo going huge with the MP40. He makes it two more. And he's on a little bit of a spree. Gonna have nine bullets to his name. Crumbs is aggressing slowly. Takes down Noz. And that's gonna be Noz out on a full spawn. We got MER. Panzer in hand. No pressure. But this can make and break the CP uh, defense of Team UK. Max does get a rifle kill, but Stokes gets the artillery support onto MER. And he's not being picked up just yet. Until just then. Panzer in hand, he's gonna take a fire, he's gonna connect onto Nismo, and that's gonna be enough. Stokes coming with the MP4 a kill. And Karen's gonna be raining down rifles from the back of CP. Rains down two more. Karen does connect with one. Max does forward. And Noz is gonna be getting two Thompson kills, and Karen's aggressing. Mistake. That's not what you wanted to do. And he's gonna be taking a full spawn and giving the CP over to Team Chili. And Team Chili just waiting for the reinforcements to come in in, in form of uh, the Cobra Ops. Oops, I need to press the quit button. Can you imagine if I quit? Oof, I need to unbind that. Team UK are not going to be looking to take over the CP. They're going to be giving it up for Team Chili. Satchel goes down. Pliers go on to the CP and Team Chili have the forward spawn. And now Team UK have three minutes, 54 seconds left to defend the East parts. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be doable. I'm not sure if it's possible, but we are gonna have a look. Crumbs gets one with the MP40, goes aggressive, gets Lux. He's gonna get the Gib. I think he did get Gib, there was someone else there. Noz, kill of his own. Oh, he was at the back of the East parts as well. On his way there, does get taken down. MG, meanwhile, finds himself under the bridge, finds himself connecting with Stokes' MP40. And let's see how Team UK adapt to this East defense because you never see a four-man East defense. But Team UK are pulling it out. And the strike is going down. Is that going to be doing a lot of damage for Team UK? No, it's not. And Max has made his way around. I'm not sure if Team UK are aware of this. Nismo does decide to self-kill. Dabster does get one. And Team Chile still struggling to get to the east pass. I thought they would have had it there. The boost is going to be coming in. Nos jumping onto the head of MG. Takes a landmine to his face. He's still going to manage to pick up one kill. He falls pretty quickly after. Crumbs with the MP4. Garen coming in with two MP4 kills of his own. Strike comes out from Team Chili. Not going to be connecting on anyone. And Stokes is going to be finishing off with the MP4. Team Chili do respawn. And Team UK are put under a hell of a lot of pressure. Max and Nos get some kills. And that might be Stokes on a full spawn. It is Stokes on a full spawn. Garen is going to have to go huge. He gets one. He gets two. But he can't get any gibs. I lied. He gets one gib. But no revives are going to be coming in. Because it's only Max. The field ops. Back of East. Strike goes out once more. Can this be the difference maker right now? Team Chili are all over the place. You got someone pretty much dead. They're going to get boosted. Make your mind up. Nope. You go. No. You go. Finally, someone goes. Then they met with Nismo. 
Nismo playing well so far, picking up a lot of kills, but he's going to be picking up a death from Maxis Thompson. Only for a short while. Crumbs MP40 kill, playing aggressively, and Team UK are managing to pull out this East defense. One minute, 48 seconds left. And they have held this admirably well. And this is going to be going down to the wire. Dabster with a five-man support fire kill. Annihilating Chile. Taking them. Sending them back to the respawn. Sending them to the gulag. And they're going to be devastated by that. Dabster. Huge, huge, huge play. I seen the guy run towards CP. I was just like, okay. He's going to get a grenade off. He's going to self-kill. Hell no. He gets the support fire off. Takes down five of the Team Chili. And that's what you need. And he's just going ape shit right now. Dabster with the MP4. He's continuing. Stokes, Nismo, Medixa, Anchor coming in with kills of their own. And Team Chili shaken to the core themselves. And Nos has called a timeout. Maybe it is time to timeout because Dabster... Boy, oh boy, when you need to pull out something, God did this man pull it out. Five man support fire kill. Lux, Outload, MER, Max, and MG all falling. And then Stokes picking up the last remaining member from Team Chili. And I was talking about Dabster's frag movie last game yesterday. But by God, does he not have another frag for it now? A little bit of a, a little bit, bit of a pause from Team Chili. Prepare to fight. Maybe trying to sort out. Maybe trying to sort out some sort of plan. Fight. And we're gonna keep on Dabster because when a man's on fire, a man's on fire. And MER is going to be extinguishing his flame just for temporarily. Garen with a nice grenade. He is going to connect onto MG. Crumbs comes in with a grenade himself. And Garen's going to be going for a little flankety flank. Finds Outload. Can he take him down? He gets a headshot. He's going to be getting aggressed on. Outload does win that one. Lux with a Thompson kill. Outload with a Thompson kill. East parts are taken by Team Chili. Where are they going to go with it? Nowhere far because Dabster's artillery is going to be putting a stop to it very shortly. Max takes the pass. He's going to go fake because they have to go fake. They have no other choice. Outload grabs the pass. He's made his way to fake. Med packs in hand. Gets to give in. Team UK are already waiting at truck. And you got 21 seconds to pull something out. MG, Noz have respawned and MER. And they're going to be trying to clear out Team UK from this truck. They get a couple of kills. MG, Outload's going to be going with the pass. 12 seconds left. And Team Chili are going to be taking their gold away from Team UK. And it is GG's. It was not enough by Dabster. It was not enough by Team UK. But it was enough by Team Chili. Oh, sorry. I got a bit ahead of myself. I thought it was... Uh... I thought it was... Uh... Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, I thought Team Chili won the first map, but it didn't. Okay, so it's 2-2. Two -two. It's 2-2. Two -two. I haven't been updating the scores. I got a bit hype. I got a bit hype. Got a bit hyped. I got a bit hyped. My bad, my bad. Relax, everyone relax. Everyone relax, we're going to a decider. I'm telling you, it's so hot in my room, my brain's fried. Oh man. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I literally thought, I just remember Team UK just about winning Gold Rush, and I thought Team Chile already had it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Give me one second, guys. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Oh. Mistakes were made. I thought I thought Team Chili won it. I thought Team Chili won it, but they didn't.
because Team UK pulled out a clutch gold rush and Team Chile just pulled out a clutch radar. And I just had to take my clothes off. So I'm sitting in my boxers once again because it is like a volcano in my room. And that's what happens. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, mistakes are made. Okay? I apologize. I apologize. But we're waiting for waiting for a decider. I'm all waiting for that. Let's have a look. Hands is back in the team. Oh god. Okay, so 5.7 for MG. 4.7 for Noz. 4.6 for Outload. Playing well. Oh, we're going to supply. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have an El Clasico plus radar. Whoops. And on Team UK side, 5k for Crumbs, 5.5 for Dabster. And you got to mention our, that, 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 that support fire again, bro. You got to mention it. You got to mention it. Because that was huge. And that took the game down to the wire. It was so huge, it fried my brains. I thought Team Chile had won it, but they haven't. We're going to a decider. We're going to a decider, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, what's happening? Anarchy, react. People, they can't decide on the decider. Wait, why have Team Chili got seven members? What's going on here? Show belly. Oh. You wish. You wish. I should become a titty streamer, right? Team Chile, I don't know how they managed to take West Parts. They managed it. Crumbs comes in with four kills off the bat, and they still managed to secure the West Parts. Crumbs standing there saying, Team, help. Team didn't help, and UK did pull it out. They pulled out the Nice defense, they pulled it out quite effectively. Yes. And it was an admirable East defense. Nice adaptation by Team UK. Very nice adaptation. and But somehow, Team Chile just managed to pull it off. It's insane how they managed to pull that off. But that's what happens. you got four people watching East. You take the parts. And there's hardly anyone main to defend it. Getting a cross fake. Getting it to the truck. And supply can be chosen. Okay. Now I have to bind it again because Hans is back in the team for the 20th time. Maybe he's fixed his internet now. Ting, ting, ting. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, it is 2 2 UK taking Team Chili's map. Of Gold Rush, Team Chile taking UK's map of radar, and we're currently on the decider, which is going to be supply. Boy, is this it's a ninth to seventeenth place final? But damn, don't you love it? When you get two teams in the final like this, it is on the US server, but when they're so evenly matched. You get exciting games like this. And exciting games they are indeed. And now we're going to have our comp complimentary 30 minute wait for this round to get started. I'm joking. It could get started any second. Don't go anywhere. If you are tuning in, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm 
and if I randomly stop talking, it's because I've melted. And I'm just a pool, a pool of coop on the floor. In before it's a full hold. If it's a full hold, I might have to, at the end of the round, run downstairs, jump into my freezer for a minute. But we're gonna be waiting. We're gonna be having a look see. People, we are starting the decider of this ninth to 17th place final between UK and Chile. 2-2 is the current score. Supply is the decider. Team UK to defend first. Fight. Team Chile to attack. And we're going to see how this one's going to go. Rifle grenade goes flying off. Not going to be able to connect. But the second one is Lux, taken down by Garen's Rifle Grenade, and they're going to be aggressing Team Chili into the lower area. The self-kills are going to be coming in. Hands, soldier in hand. With the MG42, not opting for the Panzer. Somehow he manages to connect onto Dabster around the corner. That's the ping difference right there. Garen with the Rifle Grenade kill. Medixa coming in with the MP40 kill. Max coming in with the Rifle Grenade. Stokes with the MP40 and kills are being exchanged back and forth, back and forth. Team UK. And I realized I haven't got max bound. Because of all the, the swaps. Just throwing me off guys, throwing me off. Where is he? There we go. We're back at it, we're back at it. Team Chili, back at the attack, jumping into the lower area. Max does get a kill, he does end up getting the gib. Noz is remaining outside, and he's gonna be taking the fight on a full spawn to Stokes. Stokes is gonna be winning that one, putting him on a full spawn, but I'm sure he's gonna get revived. He does so indeed, hands with the needle. And Team Chili making their way into the lower area, hands, grenade in hand. Gonna be finding crumbs surely, finds crumbs, hands comes in with that kill. MER comes in with a Thompson kill, MER comes in with another Thompson kill, and Team UK are falling all over the place. Garen with the rifle grenade, he does fall as well, Dabster jumps out, and he's going to be taken down very quickly as well. MER just waiting for the respawns. And just like that, Team Chili take the flag, get the plant down, and... Did I seen the outload. I seen it. Dynamite planted. Okay, now now they've got the plan down. Now they've got the plan down. We've seen it all. We've seen it all this match. We've seen it all. We've seen clutch moments. We've seen squeaky bump time. We've seen fell dynamites. We've seen team kill artilleries. We've seen everything. But what else? What else have we have we got left to see? I don't know. But we will find out. Another team kill artillery. Garen falls. Eight seconds. He's going to get gibbed. Doesn't belong f to this world for much longer. Medixa with the MP40 kill. And team Chile just waiting their time. The artillery pummeling down on the crossroads. And they don't really want to be walking into that head first. Nos comes in with a Thompson kill. Crumbs with the MP40. And Team Chile are making their way across very slowly. Max with the grand kill. MER finds himself at the double doors, but he finds himself next to Crumb, and Crumbs has his work out for him. He gets two, he gets three. Crumbs going ape shit at the CP. Exactly what UK need. MER finds himself going straight down, aggressing onto East Stair. He's going to throw a grenade. He's going to find Garen's face. And Garen is not going to get revived by the looks of it. Team Chili coming with the self kills, and they are made, well, they have made their way over to the CP. Dabster does take one down. But it's not enough because Team Chile are just going to be making their way across. Artillery does get one. Stokes gets three of his own. And team, Ch 
Team Chili struggled to get across to that CP. Knowles comes in with the revive, very late revive, but he makes his way across. And Stokes is going to be looking to try and repel him even more. Bad time to pull out the grenade. Nice rifle, does do a lot of damage. Doesn't get the kill though. Team Chili have made their way over to the CP, taking that over, and now they're about to take over the front gate. Dynamite goes down, Nisma with the grenade, not going to be connecting at all. Max Dynamite gets that down with pretty much no resistance. And Team UK have their work cut out. Crumbs, full spawn, takes a grenade from hands. Rife grenade, not going to do a whole lot. Dynamite does go down the east, and Team UK, they need to pull out a defence right now, and they're not pulling it out. It's Ten minutes left, it's taken... Team Chili, five minutes to get the flag, to get everything blown, to get the CP, to get the dynamites down on main, to get it down on east. Surely they can't get away with that defuse and they don't. Max comes in with a two-man rifle and the dynamite is going to explode. And Max comes in with another rifle. Garen lines up the rifle shot, unsuccessful. And Max is going to be making his way with Outload onto west, providing a little bit of support. Outload gets the dynamite down. Dynamite planted. And he gets that planted. Looks like Team Chili are going to try a little bit of a boost. Dabster sniffs it out. There's a lot of damage to Max. There's a lot of damage to Nars. Takes him down. Max somehow manages to get the revenge kill. And manages to get a kill after that with the grenade. This guy's putting in work. Putting in work indeed he is. And it's just dead bodies all over the truck. But Team UK have managed to repel Team Chili for now. And the spam is going to be complimentary from Garen. It's going to be coming over. He's going to be finding a lot of Team Chili members at the West. And the self-kills are going to be giving Team Chili opportunity to get onto the truck. Unless Crumbs has something to say about it. Somehow he manages to get two all the way from East Stairs, East Corner. Davster gets one with the MP4. He hands comes in with a reply for Team Chili. And Nismo takes him down as well. And with that, puts down a couple of landmines and Team Chile are being repelled, finally, from a Team UK point of view. And we're going to have a look here because Team Chile, I mean, they are, def they are attacking very aggressively. And this is what Team UK seem to be struggling with on pretty much all the maps, especially Gold Rush. Well... So especially Gold Rush, pretty much all the maps. Team Chili just W key, shift, W key, shift. And Team UK just struggle with it. And they're struggling right now. Eight minutes and they're already defending the crane controls. Team Chili is going to be the same thing. Garen walks, steps back into that rifle. And the revive needs to be coming in. Medixus in two minds about it. Pick the man up. Pick the man up. He does indeed. Outload is going to be aggressive. He does take down Garen Dabster with one MP40 kill. But Team Chili have taken over the upstairs pretty much. Outload somehow gets the kill onto Dabster, somehow gets the gib. Crumbs, nice gibbing work from Crumbs. Does take down the Engineer SMG. And Team UK can potentially push back out for this Engineer SMG that's going to be respawning. Crumbs is going to try his best, does take down one. Going to come up against Max. Garen providing a nice little backup. And it looks like they're going to be retreating. Oh, airstrike coming in. I'm guessing that was the man Dabster. It was indeed. Nearly. He nearly made things happen again. But we'll see. We'll see. We're going to be going back to this sort of defense once more. Where is Garen? Garen's watching the back. Because I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Team Chili did this last time. Didn't they jump back or something? But Max... Coming in with a kill. Outload comes in with on Dabster. And Stokes replying for Team UK. They're holding this little... Tight corridor, Garen with a rifle grenade could be very, very dangerous in this area. Fires 2 somehow doesn't manage to kill Max with that rifle grenade. Kills him with a K43 instead. Hans gets to give on to Garen. And that's not a good sight to see if you're Garen because you have to respawn. You have to somehow get your way back up. Lux comes in with a double kill. And he's finding his way in a pistol battle with Crumbs. Crumbs wins that one. There's so much action going on. It's hard to keep up with everything. It's just so much happening. And before you know it, Outload gets the kill onto Medixa. And Hans 
Panzer in hand and he could be causing a lot of damage to Team UK on this respawn. Grenades coming out. Panzer comes out. Nismo deleted from this spawn. Crane controls have been constructed by Team Chile. Hans follows up with the Colt 45. And this is why Team Chile want this guy in the team regardless of the 5,999s. Karen clearing house. And he wipes Team Chile from this spawn. But MER is still alive somewhere. Outlaw is still alive somewhere. And Noz is still alive above the spawn. Takes down Garen and Team Chile. Surely. Not escorting. No one's on the truck. Hans comes in with the Panzer. Anyone. And Lux. Okay, Max. Okay. So someone has a brain. Okay. So someone could do it. Max. Does. Recognize what you need to do to win supply. And he jumps onto the truck. Team Chili are all over the place. Middle tower. East tower. On top of the truck. Back of east. And Team UK got their work cut out for them. If they're going to try and reclaim this truck back. Even for a moment. Hands. Lux. Noz all coming in with kills. Airstrike goes, does go out from Team UK. Noz is going to be taken down Dabster. Nismo is going to get taken down by Noz as well. Outload still in the truck somehow. Finally, Garen gets rid of him. But Outload putting in work, taking the truck all the way out the main gate. And he's made Chili's job 100 times easier. Airstrike is going to take down MER from Outload, from Hand, sorry. And another secondary airstrike is going to be coming out. Is it going to be doing a whole lot? It is. Noz is going to get Stokes with that one. Outload with a Thompson kill. Crumbs comes in with a double MP40. And Grenade is not going to be finding his third. Outload takes care of him. Outload takes care of Garen. And Outload takes care of that ungibbed body. And Team Chile with four minutes pretty much remaining on the clock. have set a time. It's not an amazing time. But it's not, it's not that bad. It's 11 minutes. And I predicted it right. I said four minutes. Okay, nice, nice. MER top fragging. There we go. Team Chile, look at those damages. All pretty much even across the board. That's very even. Very, very even. I mean, on Team UK side, Gam with 3.1 rifling. Effectively on that defense. But no one else really that that close besides Dabster and Crumbs with 2.8, 2.7. But... There we have it. Not a bad attack from Chile. Not a bad attack. Team UK did struggle with that attack. The only criticism I have was the truck. I'm getting flashbacks of gathers and oh, it hurts. Just yeah, my brain. It just hurts my brain just a little bit. Just just a little bit. But Max saved the day, and he does escort. Okay, he does escort. So we're saved in that aspect. But ladies and gentlemen, we're getting underway for the last round of this decider of who's going to be taking the final. Is it going to be UK? Is it going to be Team Chile? And UK have 10 minutes, 58 seconds to make this match theirs. Rifle comes out from Max. Unsuccessful. Garen's rifle, unsuccessful. But maybe the second one's going to be a little bit better. It isn't. And it isn't going to be much better for Max. He gets a team kill. And we are getting a grenade kill. Dabster following up with one of his own. Dabster has found his way onto the ledge. Drops down into the gate spot. Jumps across. Finds Outload. And Outload's going to be taking care of him. Got a nice rifle grenade onto Noz. Crumbs follows up with the uh, Thompson kill. And Team UK running into this lower area. Crumbs gets one. Gets taken down. Hands, MER all coming in with kill. Stokes finds his way up to the flag. Headbutts it. And he gives Team UK that forward spawn. Fresh off of Medixa's double kill. And Team UK... Are putting in a performance and they're putting in a match right now. Dabster grabs hands his clothes, leaves a naked body on the floor, and Stokes is gonna be running through by, by himself. Okay. We've got a scout. Stokes is going for scouting. Gets one. Doesn't get the gib. So Team UK not opting for um an aggressive push through the doors. But now they're gonna be going. One falls by Noz. Max with a double rifle grenade. Noz comes with one more. And MER with a grenade kill is gonna be deleting that attack from Team UK. 
to put it kindly. But here we go. 9 minutes 25 seconds for Team UK to get the CP, get the main gate planted, get the east planted, and hell, get west planted as well. And not to mention, get the truck into this, into the crane control area, get the crane control constructed, and get the truck escorted. Air strike does go out, and Team Chile picking up a lot of kills on this crossfire, picking up one more, and that's going to be wiping UK off of this respawn. Here we go once more. Noz, this could be a huge airstrike coming in. Throws it down. UK have visibility of this. And it's not going to be connected because they've decided to go cave. And it's a smart call. And two medics going main instead. Hands, Lux and Max coming in with kills. Nos makes it one more with the, the MP40. Unable to get away because Crumbs does take him down. And this might be the window of opportunity for that Team UK need to get to the CP. Medixa, Stokes coming in with kills. Lux with one more. Crumbs scouting the CP. Sees that it's clear. Getting the revives as well. Crumbs are doing a little bit of everything. Playing very well today so far. And playing like a veteran should. Stokes, nice grenade kill. That's going to be putting one of the Team Chili on full spawn. Lux does pick up the revive. Dynamite does get planted by Team UK. Garen make a nice work of that. And the self kills do come in from Team UK. And our Team Chili feeling adventurous enough to go for this defuse. Maybe if they get a couple of kills, they might. Max opens it up with the rifle. Garen needs to wait. And he does get taken down. And that's huge. Max jumps onto the dynamite. 13 seconds left. He's going to get this defuse. Surely he is. And he does indeed. And Team Chili got a bit ambitious. And they like, you know what? Let's do what we're good at. W key straight into the face of Team UK. Making quick work of them. Getting the defuse. MER. Nice kill. Crumbs coming over, another double kill. Nismo is going to be trying to throw the dynamite down, but MER is going to be putting a stop to that very quickly. And he's going to get put a stop to with the Thompson of Medixa. Dynamite planted. And here we go. Dynamite planted for the second time. Seven minutes left and Team UK need to be defending this with their damn life. Current with a grenade kill. And he's going to be leaning. Doesn't want any funny business going on. Crumbs got his eyes lasered onto this dynamite. And it's not going to be diffused. It's not going to be touched by Team Chile. They're going to be giving this one up. And with 6 minutes 40 seconds left. People Team UK. Picking up a little bit of momentum. Stokes with the Panzer. Comes in. Finds MER. And deletes him from this spawn as well. So that's one fall. For Team Chile. But that's also one fall for Team UK. But you have gotten rid of the Engineer SMG, so that might make this East plant a little bit easier. And it does indeed. Lux Nos coming in with MP40 kills. And Nismo. Getting a nice double dink onto hands. Winning the fight. East is planted, and that's unfortunate strafe. Right into that grenade of Nos. Stokes takes a full spawn. And then we are going to be putting in work. Nos also putting in work with the MP40. Hands putting in work with the MP42. Team UK struggling a little bit to get any progression of the truck. But the East has blown. It's going to make it a little bit easier for them. A couple of kills coming in from Team UK. Outload. Long range dink. He's going to be hearing these people behind him at West. Or not. There was someone there. Okay, there we go. I knew I wasn't losing it. It's a patient game. Charge completed. Dynamite thrown. Dynamite arm just about. And it was Outload that kills him. And Outload's going to be protecting this. And I wonder if Team Chile are going to be going for this defuse. Team Chile. Max. The man that knows how to escort. It's going to be putting his pliers onto this dynamite. Dabster needs to be stopping this defuse. He does so. Nice revive onto Crumbs. And nice stop on that defuse. That was interesting. That was interesting. But I was waiting to see how that story planned out. And it was planned out with West Park. Well, the West Wall being blown. Self kills coming in from Team Chili. Medics are going to be dodging all those mines. Stokes gets a Panzer kill off the spawn. He's going to find Lux. 
And a nice triple headshot from a Dixer. Going to be putting Lux on a full spawn. As well as whoever Stokes got on that Panzer. I didn't see it. And Team UK. 4 minutes 23 seconds left. They need to get this truck escorted. And it is the rifler that's going to be doing it again. With the help of Crumbs. But Crumbs fall. Crumbs falls. And Team Chile. Buying their time. Buying their time. They need... Another couple of minutes at least to have a really good shot at this. They need to defend a few more spawns. And with the crossfire, it could be possible. But West is blown and it's going to be putting a spanner into the works of the Chilean defense. Unless Luxo can say something about it. And he says two kills. Stokes and Medixa reply. Stokes comes in with one more. Crumbs comes in with a Thompson. And if that's not enough, Medixa comes in with the Colt 45 and Team Chile are going to be respawning and they're going to be playing a defensive line. They're going to be going back up. They're going to put all their eggs into this crane control defense with 3 minutes, 25 seconds left. And we're going to see. That's a very aggressive defense from MER. And Max comes in with a double kill grenade. And the K43. Outload also coming in with one with the MP40. And he's going to be going for a spawn shot. Fires it. Is it going to connect? And it does connect onto the Nismo. Because Outload finishes him off too. Medic, medic. Team UK are advancing. And Max is putting in work on with this rifle on the stairs. And it looks like he's got a bit more work cut out for him. Dabster gets one. And Max is going to be aggressing Stokes. Takes Max by surprise. Max wasn't expecting the second guy to be coming up from below him. And he pays the ultimate price. And now he has to find his way back up. And the question is, can he do it? A lot of Team Chili go for this backdoor grenade a little bit too early. And Stokes is going to be taking the fight. Gets one. Gets taken down by Lux. The revive comes in. And Team Chili are going to be making their way up the back. Garen does get one gib, but there's going to be a heavy, heavy Team Chili response from the back, and it is indeed. Max comes in with the rifle grenade. Garen was not expecting this man to be up there. Fires a second one. He gets a double rifle grenade. Garen and Nismo, they're both of the engineers, but they're both revived. Hans is coming in with a little flank from the behind, and he does get taken down by Garen. And two minutes left. Team UK need to go. They need to go now. Lux comes in with a double MP40 kill, and that annihilates the attack from Team UK, and that could be it. That could be what they needed, Team Chile. That could be it. Because Team UK have 1 minute 45 seconds to get back upstairs to get the crane controls done. And I'm not even sure it's possible at this point. But they're going to be giving it one hell of a go. Unless Max can say something about it. He comes in with the triple kill. And that's more than enough. Garen's going to be trying to do something. Max with the Luger. is taking UK to the cleaners. And he's going to be taking Team Chile to this final victory at this rate. Medixa, Crumbs, comes in with a couple of kills. Crumbs nearly makes it a second. Unsuccessful. And with that, Team Chile have managed to pull off a last-ditch defense on supply. Team UK bringing it down close to the wire. But Team Chile and this man, Max, putting in work. And getting multiple kills, just fragging out on the stairs and wiping Team UK away from the crane controls. Far, far away. And that's what I was wondering. They benched Max disappeared on radar. They benched him on radar and I was wondering if that's a permanent switch because he's rifled extremely well these past two games. And getting rid of, well, benching him is surely going to be a mistake. But they bring him back in for supply and that was the right call. Because Team Chile have managed to take UK and beat them. Which gives them the ninth place. And it gives UK the 10th place. But just like that, ladies and gentlemen, after three long, long maps, we have a winner. It is 4-2 to Team Chile that will be taking the ninth place. And Team UK taking the 